Refreshing Stories. Hello everyone, my name is Hiroshi. I'm an office worker in my 50s who works at a foreign affiliated company as a general manager. I'm currently married to this beautiful Karen, who was my subordinate for about 10 years, and my life is going pretty well now. I'm home, Karen! Oh, you're early today. Welcome home. I actually just finished making dinner. I came home at the right time then. It smells so good in here. I wonder what you made me. I'll go wash my hands. Ta-da! Today's dinner is grand filled with love. This is the best gratin I had in my life. Thanks for everything, Karen. Like this, I'm able to eat delicious food and live a happy life every day. However, since I've been working hard for many years and my successor has progressed and is skilled now, I'm thinking of taking early retirement and living a slow life. So, I decided to tell my wife about that tonight. I wonder what she's going to say about this. Uh, Karen, there's something I want to tell you. I'm thinking about early retirement. What? What? Oh, um, you know how I'm turning 55 in a few years, right? Since I worked hard enough, I thought early retirement wouldn't sound that bad. Um, I see. Yeah, you worked hard enough, so I think that's fine. Thank you for understanding me. I guess I'll go take a shower now. Sure, go ahead. What? Early retirement? Oh no, he did not say that. Are you freaking serious? So when he retires, he's 55 and I'm only 35 still? I'm still young. I know that we still have savings, but I wouldn't be able to buy makeup and brand items like before then. I have to buy new collections every season, every year. I think I need to start finding someone else. Dating app? Bar or... I had no clue that my wife was thinking about something this horrible. A few days later, I reported to the company that I wanted an early retirement, and it was accepted without any problems. Mr. Fukugaki, whom I had talked about to my wife, was chosen as my successor, and I steadily made preparations for him, including handing over his duties, until my retirement. Then one day... Um, there's something I want to tell you, Hiroshi. I'm thinking of going back to work. Huh? What? Why is that? I remember you saying that you wanted to be a housewife at the wedding. Did I hear wrong? No, you didn't. It's true that I said that, but, you know, after experiencing being a housewife for a while, I thought it just lacks balance in life. So, besides, if you retire early, we need to cut back our savings and do financial planning, right? I don't want that, so I want to support you like how you supported me all this time. I can't rely on you forever. That's why I want to go back to work. Thanks, Karen. Okay, then. I'll try to call the HR if there are any openings. Thank you so much, Hiroshi. After consulting with HR, luckily, there was a spot left for her, so she was able to return to the company. Hello everyone, I'm Karen Ohira. I'm pleased to announce that I'm returning here although I left for marriage. I'm looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you very much. Long time no see, Miss Konishi. Oh wait, Mrs. Ohira now, right? Sorry about that. I'm still used to your old name. It's okay. <laughs> it's been a long time, Mr. Fukugaki. Hey, you can call me whatever you want. Like my first name, really. Oh, are you sure that's okay? Then I guess I'll call you Karen from today. Sure. <laughs> I don't really get called by my name other than by my family and my husband, so this is refreshing. Um, Mr. Fukugaki, even though I worked long and I'm experienced at this job, I'm pretty sure things have changed around here, so can you teach me things again like before? Pretty, pretty, please? Yeah, of course. Also, if you don't mind, can you also teach me other things, too? I can't say it out loud now. <laughs> Do you want to go grab dinner with me next time? Wow, you are such a naughty girl. <laughs> if you do that, wouldn't your husband be very pissed? Ugh, who cares about him right now? Afterward, it seems like Karen has completely locked on to the soon-to-be general manager, Mr. Fukugaki. And their relationship turned into an affair in no time. Hey, I'm home! Oh, welcome home, Karen. I was waiting to eat dinner with you. Uh, you've been coming home late lately, but is your job that busy? Are you assigned a lot of work? Yeah, I have a lot of work. No matter how much experience I've had in the past, the system has changed. So I'm working hard every day. Ugh, so tiring. Oh, I see. But Karen, I remember that you used to finish work very fast back in the day. You were even called the devil who would always leave the office on time. So that's why, uh, like... That's why what? I'm working so hard every day to support you from now on, and you think that I'm doing something that I can't tell you about? I never said a word that you're hiding something from me. It's just that I'm so worried about you. Damn, he got suspicious sooner than I thought. Well, it doesn't matter because I have Mr. Fukugaki. Maybe I should divorce him ASAP and just remarry. 
Oh, I see. I mean, if you are that suspicious, why don't we break up? Here, why don't you go file for divorce? I don't care. What? Divorce paper? Hold on! You even filed everything in and have your seal on it, too! Yeah, so why don't you fill yours in now also? What? No! I don't want to! I love you with all my heart and don't want to lose you! I'm so sorry for suspecting you. If you understand me, then that's fine. I'll do this again if you don't. I'll go take a shower before eating dinner. Ugh, I couldn't get a divorce. Well, whatever, I have a lot of chances. After that, I reflected on the fact that I was suspicious of her without any evidence. And since Karen was also working hard for me, I decided to put all my effort into work until I retired. Then, a few years later, my last day of work finally arrived. I'm gonna cry. Thank you so much for everything, everybody. I've been able to work this hard because of everyone's cooperation. I was so honored to be able to work here. Mr. Fukugaki over there will take over for me. So I'm counting on you. I won't disappoint, Mr. Ohira! Thank you until today! <sighs> My goodness. Is it really over? It feels weird that I don't need to wake up early and go to work from tomorrow. Um, Hiroshi, I'm going on a business trip for three days next time, so take care of everything, okay? Oh, I see. Um, good luck with that. Uh... Karen? Today was my last day of work, actually. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Congrats! Good for you. I need to wake up early tomorrow, too, so I'll go to bed. Good night. Good night. Is it just me, or is she kind of rude? Also, she's been having a lot of business trips and working overtime a lot lately. When I suspected her a little last time, I apologized. But thinking now, isn't it weird that she got really pissed off when I questioned her? No? After quitting my job, and settling down in my personal life, I once again noticed that Karen's behavior was suspicious. So I decided to look into her situation, since I had more time on my hands. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I need to go to work even though I'm off today. What do you mean? In my 30 years of working there, I never heard of that. Are you sure that that system exists? Yeah, um, I forgot to do an urgent job, so I need to go finish it. So I have no choice but to go. I need to go now. Bye! I know that she's lying. I'm gonna follow her. So as she headed out wearing a suit, I secretly followed her wearing a hat, sunglasses, and a mask, looking like a typical detective. Then... Sorry for making you wait, Mr. Fukugaki. Hey, Karen! No problem! I just came here! Were you able to sneak out of your house? Yes, he also listens and does whatever I tell him to do! So it was so easy! <laughs> That's what's up! You are such a bad person, and I love it! <laughs> hey, if I marry you, I swear that I'll be the best wife in the whole world. That bitch. I knew she was lying and cheating on me. Because early retirement is such a joke to me. Like, are you serious? If you marry a young and beautiful wife like me, isn't it your job to take care of me until you die? He also was like, I don't want to divorce you because I love you. Ugh, give me a break. Oh, wow. He said that? But if I remember correctly... I think he received a severance pay of 20 million yen. Hmm, 20 million yen, huh? I'll probably get 10 million yen in the property division anyway when I get divorced. But if given the choice, I want to have the whole amount. I have an idea. Why don't we go on an overseas trip with that? Hey, that's such a good idea! How about going to Hawaii? After they had a conversation that pissed me off, they held hands and went inside a hotel. Okay, got all of the evidence. <sighs> Looks like I've been fooled all this time. I'm such an idiot. You better wait for what's to come, scumbags. You hear me? I'll make you both pay back double, no, 30 times for making me suffer from all the sadness. Then that night... Hiroshi, I know this is sudden, but I'm going on a long trip next month for a week. So watch the house for me. Okay, no problem. Be safe and have a lot of fun. Sure thing. Oh, and I have one more thing to ask. I think you have a big suitcase in your room, right? Is it okay if I borrow it? I only have small ones and can't fit everything in. You know, girls need to bring a lot of stuff, so... Yeah, sure. Thank you! I promise to bring it back clean. Well, well, that was the perfect reason for me to come into his room. I'm such a genius. Anyways, I wonder where his bank book is. Let me get started searching his desk. Hey, I found it! Sweet! His severance pay is 20 million yen. I'm gonna have such a blast on the trip with Mr. Fukugaki with this. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank God that I got married to such an idiot. <laughs> I'm such a lucky person. You're the one who's an idiot, you bitch. You better be ready for what's to come. A few days later, the day of my wife's trip came, and she left with a huge smile on her face, dragging my big suitcase. I sent her off with an unsuspecting look on my face, and after she left, I began to prepare to fight back. 
then a few days later. OMG, traveling overseas with the person I love is the best. I also don't need to worry about money, so I want to be here longer. Yeah, I know, right? I need to really thank the former general manager <laughs> for giving me a beautiful wife and a lot of money for this trip. Feels good to steal something from someone. <laughs> you are such a bad person, too. <laughs> Anyways, I need to withdraw money for the expensive restaurant we reserved tonight. Huh? Wait, what's going on? What's wrong? Um, it seems like I can't use this bank book anymore. I wonder why. Hmm? Could it be because your husband froze his account? Maybe he realized that his bank book was missing. God, he did something so unnecessary. I'm so pissed off now. Can you hold on? I'll call him now. Oh, hello? Hiroshi? Yes, this is Hiroshi speaking. What's up? What's with the annoying greeting? Well, whatever. Um, I actually want to ask you something. You received the severance pay from the company last time, right? I just want to know the bank book with that in it is at the home. Just checking, nothing serious. What? Can I ask why you're so worried about that? Aren't you on your business trip? You should focus on other things. I know that. I was just wondering. Um, okay. Well, whatever. About my bank book. It looks like someone stole it from my desk drawer. When I checked my online bank, I saw that my balance had decreased rapidly. So I thought it was being used fraudulently. So I immediately froze my account. I knew it. God, I can't believe he would do this to me. Oh, um, looks like I spent a little too much on this business trip and I don't have any more cash left. So can you send me some? I promise to pay you back when I get back. Um, let's see. Can you send me about 50 million yen by today, please? Jeez! What the hell is wrong with your sense of money? Sorry, but I don't want to send you anything. Not even one yen. Because guess what? Believe it or not, we're total strangers now. What? Well, I filed for divorce last week, and it was accepted. Do you remember when you were still a housewife? You made me fill out the divorce paper that you already filled out? I found it in your drawer. Oh, um, I see. So you filed it for real, huh? Well, whatever. If it's an amicable divorce, the assets will surely be divided properly, right? That's the only thing I care about. What are you talking about? Of course not! I'm in a position to receive money from you, actually! Because you're cheating on me, aren't you? Wait, wh what is this? Where do you get this picture? Doesn't matter. This is evidence of you cheating. I'm using this to charge you alimony, okay? Wait, hold on. This is not what it looks like. Then what is it, then? Can you explain it to me? How is going inside a hotel with a guy other than your husband different from cheating? g -gr Oh. And you were the one who stole my bank book, right? I called the cops on you for theft. They should be there right about now. What? Um, Karen, what's going on here? There are a lot of scary looking cops coming towards us. I'm really scared. Should we run? Hey, stop right there. We're going to arrest you, rotten scumbags. Wait, get the hell off of me. Hiroshi, can you please help me? I swear I'll give your money back. So tell the police that you made a mistake or something. No, get off of me. Yes, please! I'm sorry, too! I'm also the current general manager! Unlike you, who's retired, I have a job position! I don't want to lose that position because of this! Who the hell cares about that? If you have a position, you should behave in a manner appropriate to your position. That's common sense! Besides, I can't leave a successor like you, who makes up fake business trips to go on cheating trips, because I know that you would do it again, so I made a decision. I'm going to become the general manager again! What? Seriously? So that means that you're fired! I've already shown all the evidence to the company, and they know everything. So unfortunately, you're jobless as of today. Good luck finding another job. What? No! I'm so sorry for what I said and what I did all this time! I'll be careful and be a better person from now on, so can you take down me being fired? I'll do anything! Me too! I deeply regretting what I've done! I'll be a better person also, can you please forgive me? Please? What idiot would say okay to this? Also, don't think about coming home to this house, okay? This place is in my name. Also, since I'm nice, I sent your stuff to your parents' house, so you have nothing here. That's all I want to say. Bye! Wait, Hiroshi? Huh? He hung up! He doesn't answer even if I call back! This sucks like hell! I hate this! No! Someone, please help me! I don't want to get arrested! Help me, please! After that, my ex-wife and Mr. Fukugaki were deported to Japan, and they apologized to me crying their eyes out. But I decided to fully ignore them. As a result, Mr. Fukugaki was fired from his job, and they're having a triple burden now. Having a criminal record, paying for the alimony, 
and paying back all of the money they used for my severance pay. However, they're having trouble finding a job now and living a life where even tomorrow's existence is uncertain. On the other hand, I went back to being a general manager at the company. After going back, I came to realize that working hard every day suits me so much better than relaxing and doing nothing at home. For now, I'm thinking of trying my best again until I'm 60, so I promise you all that I'll remain healthy. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!